These cutters are all balanced by design, where if you look at the different flute lengths of the cutter, every, every cutter has variable helix, variable pitch. In order to bring that back concentric and have it balanced by design, you make the flute lengths longer and shorter to redistribute that weight. So that now becomes a balanced tool. We've got two options on this machine. We've got a 16 station turret or a 20 station. The 16 station actually is the one where every one of the index positions can be indexable. So the actual tool unit can be indexed within its own position, which means that we can uh, fill it full of multi-tools. We can index them round to a required position for the form uh, and required orientation at quite a high rate, as you've seen. Uh, Chris, firstly, I want to ask you about the spindle on this machine because this is slightly different, isn't it, to what some offer? Tell us about the uh, yeah. the changes or the differences. Uh, I mean, we have uh, we have a spindle here, a 12k spindle, uh, and it differs from some machine tools in that the bearings in the head are actually uh, drip-fed uh, an oil-air mist, which is controlled by a separate unit on the machine. Uh, as opposed to many machines who just use grease pack bearings, grease pack for life. Obviously, grease can deteriorate. Oh, it's brilliant. Like, it's the name that you can trust. Do you know what I mean? Colchester, we've had them for years here. It's amazing. At the end of the day, you know what I mean? They're only up the road. If we need hands with anything, they will come down. You know what I mean? It's, it's an amazing machine. This is the, obviously got a Y axis on it now. Um, we've never had that before. And, and, and do, you get, do you get the benefit of that? Are you using it a lot? Oh yeah, well we do use it quite a bit on some of our newer parts. Not as much as we should do really, you know what I mean? But we are still developing with a Y-axis into our products type of thing. I have just been told that we are presenting at the event, but I haven't registered yet. Uh, well you need to do that and if you want to come and see all these fabulous brands and machines like we've got behind us, Barvius, Chiron, uh, Nakamura, Quasar, Hardinge Bridgeport, they'll all be here. But Lindsay, like you said, you haven't registered. Do you want to show us how you do it? Okay, it's really, really simple. So you just go onto the EngTech Group website. This is the UK launch, so on the 8th, 9th and 10th of October, this will be the launch of the MX850 PC4. And basically, it's just a larger version of the MX520 PC4 that we've already been supplying for the last 18 months. So, you know, when you think about, you know, an 850 by 450 workpiece times four pallets, for sub, half a million pounds. Sounds a lot, but it isn't for the size of the machine. So with such a variety of machine tools on show, including the DVF 5000 with the AWC here at the show, I wanted to find out more about who this event was aimed at. So this event is aimed at engineering companies, really, that want to improve productivity and efficiency and are interested in the latest machine tool technologies. It's a bit of a hybrid machine. It's kind of uh, the size of a sliding head but it's got a quite a bit of a larger capacity for, for the larger work, up to 42 mil. Um, so we got the benefits of the footprint of the machine, it's been very small, I mean, we're, we're quite tight on room in here, as you can see. And we can also, obviously, with the smaller footprint, we can get three meter bar feed on the end as well. The strengths that we now have within the group have now led us to make a similar kind of offer within special tools. So we now have a, an opportunity to offer a turnaround of three weeks, guaranteed, on special combined machining tools uh, for our customers. Yeah, well, the, the Swiss Deco is really a strong machine. We like to call it uh, a little bit the beast. Uh, it's a machine with free tool system, and you can customize the one of the tool system, the, the one that is uh, basically at the, the back of the machine. So you can have either a twin gang machine, a little bit like you have on the Evo Deco, uh, or you can replace it by a turret or a turret with a B-axis, and this is the version we have right there. So that's really the top of the range uh, with incredible capa capability.